Hi everyone, it's August 6, 2021. I posted this video last night, important for parents and everyone facing mandates, ask for evidence. And then I received some comments, um, a call for an uprising, apparently posted a video um, saying it was a setup, other people leaving comments um, saying that whatever they're saying. I can't even remember. You can look at the comments if you want to read them. But it's amazing to me how many people just, you know, any action that somebody takes, it's like ripped apart. Um, action is the only possible way out. And, you know, I see people who leave comments about the action that they're taking, and then people respond saying, you know, it's not going to do anything. What are you doing? It's not going to do anything because you are not doing anything. You're not standing with the person taking action. Protests won't work. Oh, well, they won't because we don't have the numbers. However, and I've said this for 12 years, the ripple effect of your actions, you may not know what the ripple effect is, but you take an action, and there's going to be a ripple effect. So you have protests in Europe, Germany, and in, in, uh, Australia, and France. You've seen these protests grow. If there was no one on the street, it wouldn't inspire anyone to get on the street. Actions actually inspire. Now, maybe some of you didn't realize that asking for evidence of mandates where you live is separate and apart from Patrick King, who had his case in Canada. Yeah, you know, and a call for an uprising. I, I see these comments where people are saying that he had a good take on it. Sorry, not, that's not my opinion. This is the only thing he showed, and this is not evidence. Yep, that hand, uh, the way people hold their hands, is definitely a Masonic symbol. I've caught myself. I sit here, and I have my hands just like that. And when I realize it, I pull them apart. But it's not evidence. It's concerning. We all know, and we've had, you know, our brains shaped in a way to, oh, spot the symbols and all this. It's not evidence. It's concerning. You need more. And to say that this is a setup for what? It's a trap. Setting people up for a trap? Asking for evidence is setting people up for a trap? Okay, what's the trap? A call for an uprising said something about, oh, well, there's going to be a false flag now in Alberta, and the numbers are going to go. They're going up anyway. Liars will lie. You don't focus on the liar. You focus on the most important information, and you don't focus on the person. You focus on what is relevant, and what is relevant is that this man asked for evidence that, well, I don't even want to say it on YouTube. You can watch my video that I posted last night. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch my Odyssey vid video. But it is separate and apart from this man. Ha this man has nothing to do with it. So that distinction is really important. Forget about you know, somebody standing with hands like that. We're in a trap. The trap that a call for uprising is talking about is the trap that's going on all, of, all over because hardly anybody is asking for evidence. Ducey asked Saki in the White House press conference, I think about a week ago, where's the evidence? you know, for the CDC suddenly reversing their guidelines and now going back to the masks. What did she say? 
well, we listen to the experts. That's not good enough. So, you know, it's unfortunate that so many get lost in the who's saying this and, well, this was on uh, whoever's channel, um, um, Infowars. I don't care about that. I care about what is being said, can it be verified, and is it important? We needed to be asking for the evidence, and I, how many times have I said this? Well, those videos are gone now because I had to remove them from YouTube because they were just knocking out you know, channels left and right, posting the the misinformation or disinformation, um, we need the evidence. You're not going to get the reporters asking for it, except for Ducey. And, you know, uh, in that questioning, I think Ducey tried to ask another question, but Saki went right on to somebody else. You know, so... <laughs> It's because we haven't been able to uh, do anything. And it's because, you know, the most people are just not interested in evidence that we're living in a trap now. So... Please understand that it has nothing to do with Patrick King. Nothing. And I was a little surprised listening to this interview, Press for Truth, and he's talking about uh, his whole affect was kind of like, you know, he was trying to catch Patrick King in something. And I, I was like, Press for Truth, well, what are you doing here? It's, we need to ask for the evidence. That's, that's what needs to be focused on. So, I don't know if I said this, but he's going to be releasing the transcripts tomorrow. You can take a look at all of the transcripts. You can focus on him. You can focus on the transcript. What you need to be focusing on is asking those who are, you know, making these orders, those who are mandating that you live a certain way, that your children live a certain way, that you ask them for the evidence, you know, that is, uh, that their order is predicated on. That's it. Simple. Okay. Um, the link below to Press for Truth's video just hit show more below my video and you'll see it.